I saw another story today that makes me even madder, and I didn't wake up on the wrong side of the bed today or anything. I didn't get up looking to be mad, no way. So there's this young man in Iowa, surely one of the best states in the United States, and this young guy, he's 24 years old, his name is Carson King. What a great Iowa name. Anyways, he holds up this funny sign on TV at a football game in Iowa. Bush Light Supply Needs Replenishing. Uh, Venmo, and then his uh, account. It's like PayPal. It's a way for people to send you money on the Internet. So he holds the sign up, and it gets on national TV. And people think it's pretty funny. So strangers actually start chipping in to give him some beer money. Iowa, good people, funny, love their beer. Well, this is very exciting for Bush beer, Anheuser-Busch. They, they love this viral moment. Everyone's getting this guy beer money. So they jump on board and they send this tweet. They say, hey, Carson, we said we send you a year's worth of Bush Light. But first we had to make sure the cans were fit for a king. Let us know where to send the truck. Iowa legend. And you saw there was a photo of him on the can. Anyway, this is hilarious. This was just all a couple days ago, by the way. And Iowans being Iowans, here's what Carson King does with all his beer money. Let me quote CNN, because this story went national. He said, I didn't think I would make anything. It all started as a joke, he said. After speaking with his family, he decided that minus the cost of one case of Bush Light, he'd give the rest of the money to the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. As word spread of his plans to donate the money, more people decided to contribute. Bush Beer and Venmo even caught wind of his plans and raised the stakes by pledging to match his contribution. By Sunday morning, the contributions, including Bush Beer and Venmo's matches, had reached $1 million and were continuing to rise. How good are you feeling right now? How good is Carson King feeling? He got his free beer, and then he did a good thing. He didn't even have to. How good is Anheuser-Busch feeling? And how about those kids at the Children's Hospital and their families? I mean, be honest now, would you have the personal character to give up a million bucks to charity when you literally asked for it for beer money and you were getting it for beer money? You give it to charity instead. Give this guy respect. Here's what he wrote, he tweeted. He said, we just reached a million in total contributions. Bush Beer and Venmo, let's go. We're not done yet. Children's Hospital, what do you think for the kids? And the Children's Hospital uh, wrote this back to him. They said, we can't think. Our minds are blown by all of this. Thank you to everyone who helped reach this milestone. We're so grateful. What a feel-good story. Well, let me take you to some breaking news, okay? Seriously, this was called breaking news on TV in Iowa. Like as if North Korea launched a nuclear missile. Breaking news. Let me show you the breaking news from Iowa. Breaking news into the KCCI newsroom in just the past hour. Anheuser-Busch says it will now no longer have any further association with the Altoona man who has raised more than $1 million for the University of Iowa Children's Hospital. KCCI's Laura Terrell is just back from a news conference where Carson King apologized for using offensive language on social media when he was in high school. Laura? Yes, King reached out to KCCI to talk about what he calls a racially offensive post he made eight years ago. We don't know the content of that post because it's been deleted. King says he doesn't want it to affect his fundraising effort for the hospital. I am embarrassed and stunned to reflect on what I thought was funny when I was a 16-year-old kid, and I want to sincerely apologize. An apology from Carson King. The 24-year-old called a press conference Tuesday night after a racially insensitive social media post he made eight years ago recently surfaced. It was brought to my attention by a, a reporter for the Des Moines Register. And uh, once he pointed it out and I went back and looked at it, I was, you know, I was really upset with myself. King says he deleted the post immediately. <laughs> King became somewhat famous 10 days ago after his beer sign went viral. Instead of using the money for Bush Light, he pledged to donate it all to the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. I don't want, you know, what I did when I was 16 to take away from the fact that, you know, we're over $1.14 million for the Children's Hospital. Yeah, this just came in today. This regular guy from Altoona, suddenly a hero in the public eye. 
now says he fears mistakes from his past will change that. I'm worried about it. Um, I really hope people focus on the positivity that all this has brought. Um, obviously, you know, I've made mistakes in my past. You know, everyone has. King says all of the 1.4 million and counting will still go to the hospital. Now, here is the full statement from Anheuser-Busch they sent to KCCI in just the past hour. Carson King had multiple social media posts that do not align with our values as a brand or as a company, and we will have no further association with him. We are honoring our commitment by donating more than $350,000 to the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics. <laughs> So he's 24, Carson King, and eight years ago, when he was a high schooler, what's that, grade 10? He made some dumb jokes, and so he's humiliated now. But did you hear the language in that breaking news report? Some dumb joke that a dumb teenager told recently surfaced? It just surfaced. Look at that passive language. Surfaced. No, of course, it, it didn't surface. It was, it was mined. It was hunted. It was trolled. It was creeped. Carson King was investigated for making bad jokes in, in high school. Someone did deep opposition research on him, more than was done to vet Justin Trudeau in the 2015 Canadian election, I might add. Trudeau went full racist in blackface, not when he was 16, though, when he was 29, and a teacher in school, not a high school student himself, when he was in his 20s in college, he also put on a blackface and a wig, and he made ape gestures. Pretty sure that's comparing black people to apes. He did this in his teens, he did this in his 20s, he, we know he did it as late as 29. Pretty sure it didn't stop there. We didn't know about Trudeau until a week ago, but Carson King raises, what was that final figure according to the report? 1.4 million bucks for charity. And every tweet he ever tweeted when he was 16, what's it, grade 10, was dug up. Who, who would dig that up? Who, and who would report it? Well, kudos to Carson King himself, I guess, for apologizing. I think he was almost tearful there. I can't remember every dumb joke I told when I was 16. I'm just glad there wasn't Twitter back then or some weird creep who would dig it up. That's the thing here. Why was this TV station treating it like war was being declared, breaking news? Why did they hide how the tweet surfaced? And why did Anheuser-Busch react in such a cowardly way, so smug and self-righteous though. Why? Well, the Des Moines Register, the local newspaper, they dug up the tweet. That's the media party for you. Total incuriosity about anything that matters, but obsessed with getting a good guy who raised money for charity. Uh, here's an, an article in the Des Moines Register. Register editor, here's how we reported on Carson King's tweets. Some of the toughest decisions in journalism are about what to publish or not. People around the nation have been captivated by the heartwarming story of Carson King, the 24-year-old Iowan whose handmade game day sign asking for beer money prompted hundreds of dollars in donations. And then when he decided to donate the money to Stead Family Children's Hospital, hundreds of thousands of dollars poured in. On Monday evening, Register reporter Aaron Calvin was assigned to interview King for a profile. On Tuesday, as he worked to write the story, he did a, get this, get this, get this, get this. He did a routine background check on King that included a review of publicly visible social media posts, a standard part of a reporter's work on a profile. Calvin found two racist jokes that King had posted on Twitter in 2012. Calvin asked King about them, and he expressed deep regret. Is it indeed a routine background check to creep through a 24-year-old man's teenage tweets? Is that really routine for a profile story on a beer drinker? Is that a background check? What does that mean to do a background check? W were they hiring this guy to work in a bank or something? I know a little bit about Twitter. I tweet more than the average guy. These tweets, two jokes Carson King wrote almost a decade ago. 
They were actively searched for, as in the reporter started typing in key words into a search, every swear, every epithet he could find into a search engine to find them. This wasn't a routine background check. That's what police do when they pull you over. They check for outstanding warrants or unpaid tickets. That's what a routine background check is. Searching a teenager's jokes from almost a decade ago, looking for specific mean words, that's not routine. That's just gross. Anything to destroy a good man. Here's how this self-serving editor ended her excuseology in the Des Moines Register. Eventually, Register editors decided we would include the information, but at the bottom of the story, we thought we should be transparent about what we had found, but not highlighted at the top of the story or as a separate story. It was planned as a few paragraphs towards the bottom of the profile. Hi, guys. Really? What a disgusting, disgraceful group of people the Des Moines Register are. A hero, shamed. $1.4 million. And, and that fundraiser obviously has been cut short now. How many millions more would have come in were it not for this bizarre smear? Oh, but my friends, the story has only started. Who is that reporter who did a routine background check by typing in every dirty word he could think of in a search engine going back almost a decade? Well, it's this guy, this creep here, Aaron Calvin. Look at him. Now, you can't judge someone by their physiognomy. Uh, how someone's face looks doesn't tell you about their character. Mm, I don't know, maybe except in this case here, because the reporter doing the routine background check to name and shame and blame a 24-year-old man who just donated one point for me. Look at that picture. Blow it up. Make that full screen. Yeah, that guy. This was the reporter, the one who just killed a $1.4 million cancer charity for kids, who bravely spoke truth to power. Well, looky here, this reporter here. Well, the, I guess when he was hired, the Des Moines Register didn't do a Routine background check on him, did they? On, on Aaron Calvin, I mean, the reporter. Now, I'm not going to say the N-word, but boy, Aaron Calvin sure does. As a grown man, as a grown-up, as a media professional, as the guy who took down Carson King, he sure has a foul mouth on him. Look at this. Look at this one. Too many of the, I'm not even going to say the N-word there. And he says, don't pardon my French. Yeah, it's not French, you racist sexist. Here's another. So I'm not going to pronounce that word. I'll just let you read it. So let's catch up here. We got racism, check. We got sexism, check. We got anti police profanity, check. Oh, and homophobia. I just got hit on by Tori Amos's makeup guy. Never talk to strange gay men. <laughs> and, and, and then he just got really weird. Um, pedophilia. I want to grow up and read sex scenes to high schoolers. Sorry, if that's not pedophilia, what's this then? What's this one? If you, if you think that's out of context, look at this next one here. Can I be a guest instructor at your theater camp, teaching the kids how to abuse substances and turn tricks? Well, what, who, what, what is this about? Who the hell is this? And of course, of course, he's an anti-Christian bigot calling anyone evangelical or racist. So that's the media hero. That's the great investigative reporter at the Des Moines Register who was just doing a happy profile on a good news story, and he brought down Carson King for a dumb joke he made back when he was 16 in grade 10. Justin Trudeau goes full blackface as an adult again and again and, and, and nothing. A 16-year-old joke is exhumed to shame a 24-year-old hero. That's unjust. But the monstrous bigot who did this routine background check, yeah, he's grosser than anything I've seen in a long time. Quick question for the Des Moines Register and for that TV station that had their breaking news flash. Will they do the same story on this bigot, Aaron Calvin? Oh, and to the hypocrites at Anheuser-Busch, Will they now cut off their advertising with the Des Moines Register too? A toxic swamp that harbors racist, sexist, homophobic, and pro-pedophile journalism? <laughs> yeah, I'm mad. 
That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.